So while we've all been waiting for Halloween Horror Nights to make some big announcement for what's coming to that event, Universal has made another announcement, actually about their upcoming expansion to Universal Studios Florida, the Minion Land at the front of the park. There's a lot in this announcement from updates to Villain Con to the Minion Cafe to all new announcements and I want to talk about it, break it down, and offer my thoughts and opinions on all of this new stuff. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. First I wanted to talk about Villain Con Minion Blast. We did get this new piece of art, I'm guessing this is going to be sort of the attraction poster, the concept art for Villain Con Minion Blast. We see obviously some minions there and some kids holding what look to be the blasters. They look really big and they also remind me a lot of the piranha gun from the first despicable me movie which is a really nice touch and in the background it looks like you can spot some of the villains from the minions movies and some of the set pieces that we'll probably be experiencing in this ride while they haven't confirmed any opening date it's still summer 2023 they did confirm that the evil stuff that we saw on the sign outside is going to be the entrance for the gift shop I'm really excited to see if they have any cool villain con merchandise. I really love that logo. It's really unique and interesting and gives me that retro sort of vibe. So I'm really digging that. And moving forward, we finally got sort of the facade details and what this Minions Cafe is actually going to look like. This is very, very different from the Minions Cafe we have in Hollywood, and I'm actually quite surprised and pleased. I didn't want it to be exactly the same as the one in Hollywood because this isn't the same sort of building that they have in Hollywood. They're really leaning into that original design they had for Monsters Cafe, R.A.P. Monsters Cafe, of course, but it looks really interesting. I love the Minions Cafe sign sort of piecing together different tools. It, it feels like the Minions. I love how we have a large illumination mural featuring some characters that aren't just Minions. So we're seeing some Secret Life of Pets representation. We're seeing some Sing representation, which will come into play a little later. Uh, but I like that this is a more elaborate illumination mural compared to the one in Hollywood. I also love how just detailed this facade is outside of the main entrance to the cafe. Of course, you have the Bank of Evil over here. You have some graffiti on the wall. You have the entrance to two new food locations, Freeze Pops and Bake My Day. Uh, Bake My Day being the cupcake shop from Despicable Me 2, which is really cool, kind of bringing you into the movie in that. That sense these are so colorful these buildings are so colorful and very diverse from each other I really really like this exterior facade and I'm really excited to see what the inside looks like and speaking of the inside while we don't have any pictures we do have a description of the sort of areas that are gonna be inside of the Minions Cafe theming wise we have the kitchen where it's gonna sort of have some equipment and gear the Minions have used uh, it's sort of possibly tying into the sign outside the break room which I'm sure will be littered with with plenty of different Easter eggs to the Despicable Me franchise, as well as the Minions franchise. And the dining room, which I'm sure is gonna be more of the abstract theming they're going with uh, over in Hollywood. I feel like that's gonna be the closest translation we're gonna see uh, to this Orlando location but I also like that they're going to have outdoor seating it looks like they're really going in with the seating here obviously Monsters Cafe had a good amount of seating and they had those three distinct areas so I'm glad they're keeping that when incorporating this Minions Cafe and on top of that we also got some news about some of the food that is coming to this now I'm not a foodie youtuber so I'm just gonna flash some of the pictures across the screen it all looks very cute it all looks very you know minion fied and, and kid friendly everything seems like it's supposed to fit in and everything seems kind of intentional even if it might not be like the most appetizing food of all time it still looks like it fits in within this world and uh, that's all I could ask for here they're also going the Louis route with this restaurant incorporating an express window which is going to be really great especially when this thing opens just because I know this is going to be really popular around the summer every restaurant at Universal gets busy at lunchtime to the point where it's just really uncomfortable to eat anywhere so having that express window might alleviate some of the crowds at least a little bit when this thing opens now I briefly talked about some of these other locations like bake my day and the freeze pops and uh, they did add some more details of this of course showing off the bake my day facade now we've seen a little bit of this facade uh, come to life in the park especially with the giant cupcake and the minion at the top uh, has been down for about a week now we're also getting Papa Nana which is going to be a popcorn sand featuring banana flavored popcorn hello I'm excited for this of course this is also where you're gonna be able to buy your minion Minions, popcorn buckets. I'm sure they're going to have more buckets upon the release of this attraction and the opening of this area. Also, Freeze Ray Pops is going to give us obviously like popsicles and frozen items along with beverages. Um, pretty nice. We're going to have this, you know, 
they had bone chillin before outside the monsters cafe that remained open for a little while after the land but it's going to be good to have that location back open again in this area and the last thing i wanted to talk about here is something really interesting and something that caught i think everybody off guard which is the illumination theater where it's going to have your minions meet and greets your Gru, margo edith agnes you know all the characters you were able to meet before but also you're going to be able to meet characters from sing which is really really unique i'm not sure if they've ever come to universal studios florida if not for like a limited time so i'm excited to see a permanent installation of these illumination characters and it looks as if this is going to be in the same location that the shrek and donkey meet and greet was on the side of the building across from the new villain con attraction and going towards transformers really excited to see this i did mention in my initial villain con video that i was excited to see more illumination characters come to this land and i think that's exactly what we're going to be getting with this illumination theater again we don't have an opening day for this but i'm really excited for this expansion i'm not the biggest minions fan but i'm also not the biggest minions hater i know there's a lot of people out there who are not excited for this who groan at the idea of more minions coming to the park but let's be honest universal studios florida is the most minion less theme park in the universal lineup so it's exciting to see more kid friendly offerings especially with kid zone being closed you know as universal is trying to broaden their demographics and cater more to all audiences an expansion like this makes a lot of sense i can't wait to try the minions cafe i can't wait to just get a better look at the facades i know some of the walls have come down a little bit so definitely going to be making videos from villain con from the minions cafe from this area once it opens hopefully i can get a hold of like a pass holder preview or something i'm not sure if i'm going to be there for opening day of this attraction but i do want to check it out but anyways let me know what you think this is just a little update i mean i guess a big update on villain con the new minions land i'm really excited for this i can't wait for this to open this is like the biggest thing coming to any of the major theme parks in the next few months so definitely looking forward to this and if you enjoyed this update video like theme park updates universal updates you know history deep dives things of that nature make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel i hope you enjoyed this video i want to thank you all for watching it and i will see you all in the next one take care everybody